what is exactly hadoop map reduce and why spark came into the picture what is exactly hadoop map reduce and why spark came into the picture so hadoop map reduce so hadoop map reduce mainly for processing engine big data is having a two concept separate storage separate process and nothing but separate computer so that storage you can call it as a hadoop distributed file system or any data lake in cloud maybe azure data lake in azure or maybe amazon s3 or a google file system or google uh, cloud storage so all are distributed storages and hadoop map reduces a java program mainly designed to process data and analyze data on top of distributed file system then why spark came into the picture so hadoop map reduce always its process on disk process on disk so it's read data from hdfs then if you are doing any transformations like area operations every operation it's read from disk right into disk it's read from disk right into disk it's read from here right into here it's read from here right into here it's read from here right into here every iterative operations it is going to read and write into distributed file system only but on disk distributed file system only but on disk disk is a slower than ram and cpu your ram is your in memory is faster than disk and network right so when it comes to spark spark it read from hdfs or any distributed file system or any data lake but processing will happen on in memory ram your in memory is faster than disk how much faster 10 to 100 times faster than 10 to 100 times faster than disk and network your in memory faster than disk and network this is one of the primary reason they introduced and another reasons now why we are mainly looking at a cloud level spark means there are plenty of reasons are available plenty of benefits are available so when it comes to key differences when you compare with the spark and hadoop map reduce one is a speed because spark process on in memory hadoop map reduce process on disk so in memory is faster than disk always flexibility so spark is mainly general purpose computer cluster computing is nothing but distributed in memory parallel processing engine distributed in memory parallel processing engine so spark supports multiple uh, spark is having a multiple inbuilt libraries for sql for streaming for machine learning for uh, graphs data processing and when it comes to processing point of view it can handle batch data it can handle the streaming data spark can handle both real time data but map reduce mainly for design for batch processing and when it comes to internal tracking like a lineage point of view when it comes to metadata internal metadata jobs point of view so dag directed acyclic graph will be there it will take care of the internal data flow okay and uh, hadoop map reduce uses two stage pipeline map and reduce two stage pipeline then easy of use so python other multiple languages like a majorly any data engineering project analytics project sql and python widely using now so spark supports r python sql languages even developed using scala but primarily we are using python sql for analytics in cloud so when it comes to hadoop map reduce developed using java and it will support a few languages okay so that's about languages support if you look at this so spark supports python r scala and sql that's amazingly okay when it comes to cloud r and python and sql is widely used in cloud analytics projects data engineering projects okay data engineering means sql and python so when it comes to that's about the languages support and resource management so Databricks or Spark inbuilt, they are having their own standalone resource manager. Databricks, they won't use third party resource managers like uh, uh, Yarn and Mesos. But uh, MapReduce, they're depending on third party resource managers. Those also open source Apache Mesos or Hadoop Yarn. 
So there's a third party resource manager, even Spark also supports that, but in Databricks, we won't use that uh, third party resource managers. And maybe on-premises or any uh, customized environments, you can find that. Spark also supports that. So this is about a major difference between Spark and uh, Hadoop MapReduce. Uh, primarily, if you concentrate on majorly Spark features, these are in-memory distributed parallel processing, RDD, resilient distributed data process, Okay, resilient distributed data sets, mainly distributed data processing point of view. Inbuilt library for machine learning, SQL, and uh, data, uh, data structured streaming, and SQL, and uh, machine learning. And DAG is manages internal architecture and the metadata process, internal process point of view. And support multiple languages, interactive shell. Cluster manager, inbuilt standalone cluster manager is available and data source connectors it is providing inbuilt uh, connectors for uh, reading data from normal file system distributed file system or any other databases so odbc jdbc kind of databases which you can read and write data into databases as well that's the flexibility